What are the technical demands of a role in rugby? In rugby, as in other sports, training has to be specific to train the physiological, technical, tactical and psychological demands of the game. A guideline could be useful for coaches and performance coaches to know in specific what to train, especially at the highest level. Recently, we have seen the psychological demands of the game to have the physiological parameters of the game in order to replicate them during training, especially to train specific groups. Another aspect of the game is the technique. So what are the technical demands by row? The researchers of this study provided an answer. Through video national analysis method, 16 professional players from the National Rugby League in Australia were studied. Five positional groups were analyzed. Backs, wingers and centers. Forwards, pro and second row. Fullback, hooker, hooker and service players, halfbacks, 5 eighth and lock. The technical analysis was divided into offensive skill measures and defensive skill measures. Offensive skill measures were ball carry, defined as the player in possession of the ball traveled a distance of two steps in any direction. Supon run, an offensive movement performed close to the ball runner with intention of receiving the ball or drawing a defender away from the ball runner in an effort to promote the ball toward the opposition goals line. Touch of the ball, a single period of time during which a player was in contact with the ball before the ball is released. Play the ball, a tackle player rose to his feet and played the ball backward with a striking action. While defensive skill measures were Tackle, a player engaged in physical contact with an opponent in an effort to stop the opponent from promoting the ball toward the player's goal line. Tackle, one on one. A tackle was made by one player without the assistance of any other player. Tackle win, the effectiveness of a tackle to allow a defensive player involved in the tackle to be onside before an opponent has played the ball and usually involves in a high level of physical extension. The results show that the number of tackles made per minute of total playing time was greater for the forwards, hooker and service players than the backs and fullbacks. There was no difference in the range of one-on-one -on -one tackles performed during a match for backs, forwards, fullbacks, hookers and service players. The hooker touched the ball on more occasion than any other positional group did. The fullback performed more support runs than did another positional groups. A strong relationship was found between the number of supports performed per minute of total playing time by the fullback. And finally, the forwards also show a moderate relationship between the number of tackles made per minute of playing time with the number of sprints performed per minute during the match. To conclude, the authors found that between defensive and tanky skills, defensive skills increase the physical work required and are perceived by players to be one of the most fatiguing components of the game. The study provided an overview of the technical demands by rugby player from matches. This can be a guideline for coaches to know which technical gestures the players, especially in the first team, need to train more often. If you would like to know more about this topic, you can find the related research in the description below. Also, if you feel that you found the video useful, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below about your favorite research. Thank you for watching and goodbye!